Hello, antinatalist. Yeah, I know how, um, I know how, uh, antinatalists look for people who don't, um, believe in antinatalism and try to argue with them, so I know that there are some of you here. So, I guess this is a video discussing why I'm not an, an antinatalist. Um, but this is not going to be a bashing on your theory. Um, I have read David David Benatar's "Better Never to Have Been," the harm of coming of coming into into existence. I have like two or three two or three videos um, on him. Um, that is a great book. It, pre it it presents to you a lot of um, a lot of possible reasons why we should move to the antinatalist position but it kind of it not only not only presents tons of statistics on suffering and pain and all this stuff um which is fascinating it's fascinating because you know you don't always think th think about it that way so if you are um i'm sure that people who are you know st sturdy antinatalists have read this and if you haven't you, sh you should have because this is you know the main at least one of the main doctrines of your position. So, I, if you are, if you are, a antinatalist, I highly suggest you you, you you read it if you want to know what you're talking about. Um, if you are not a a antinatalist, um, then I would I would suggest that you still read it because this book presents to you um, a lot of positions. Well, it, it presents one one position, of course, but it shows you why. It shows you the the, the asymmetry asymmetry between pleasure and pain, um, and it really does. A, he does a great job in arguing that that position. It, it really is. I have to, I have to say that. Um, <clears throat> but um, as my um, viewers who have been viewing me for a while know I am a theist. I, I am a Christian, of course, and um, that is one thing that prevents me from being that, but I have other reasons for being for not being antinatalist. It's not just because I believe in God, it's just, and um, it's just there are reasons why I am not going to go that far as to say that we should stop reading, but I really think that we should think about this antinatalist position. I really think that um, we should look. We should look it over and actually think about it because people who don't know about it and hear it and be like, "What?" and they're gonna hand wave it and you know do some f philosophical hand waving, hand waving, and we'll dismiss it immediately. And I was, I am one of those people who who did that. I did, I did that. Um, because if you have not if you have not heard about it, it's going to be kind of a weird principle. But you have to read that read read Ben Hart's book, and um, that is just I think we have to think we have to think about this because the question is um, is life worth living and how much pain is there, how much pleasure is there, and in David Ben Hart's Better Never to Have Been, you have he discusses a asymmetry between between pleasure and pain. Because no matter what life you're gonna have, it's guaranteed that the person will have pain and that he will suffer. Um, pleasure is not guaranteed. Temporary temporary pleasure is guaranteed, but it's not. <clears throat> even though you know, let's say that this person is really rich and you know has a lot of great things going for him, this does not mean that he is not suffering. Um, you know, this this asymmetry is great. I I have two other videos. I'm on. Two videos on on Benatar. Um, if you want a little discussion, a couple discussion on that, you know, I, I do I do have those. I don't I don't want to discuss it in length here, but I just want to say that um, this is a theory that we need to think about. We need to think about, you know, how how badly is our our children going to suffer? Um, is there any possible? Is there is there any, is there any possibility um, of us? You know, choosing choosing to go down this route. I mean, is it, would, would would it be better? 
would it be better or would, would it be a good thing you know and would that um, be I guess I guess would this be a good a, the, the uh, better option um, the reason there well there are really two reasons why I am why I see this gray argument and I'm still not a anatalist at all one is of course because I do believe in a uh, deity that's one thing that just kind of if I did believe in a deity and was antinatalist that would be con contradictory that's one reason but the second reason let's say I was not a theist but I was an atheist there are atheists who are not antinatalist that's for sure um, so let's say I was not a, a theist let's say I was an a, atheist <clears throat> would I then be a antinatalist. The qu the idea would still be no, um, because I have been around lots of people and I have seen lots of people who um, do have suffering in their life, but they still um, they still feel purpose in life, they still have a reason to go on, um, they, they have so, I've, I mean, my, my, I've seen family members and friends who have gone through so much and had so much, you know, pain and suffering going on in their life, and they still have this, um, reason to keep on going, um, so, I guess, um, and it's kind of partially on the thing that, where, like, on that uh, Marcel Proust kind of thing, where he says that if I didn't have these these sufferings, then I wouldn't be who I am today. Um, that I kind of partially use that, but um, my family members often say, well, ha often have that feeling, and, and my friends also will say, well, I've, I've I've had a lot of shit shit happen to me, you know, it's been it's been like that, but um, I still. I still feel like I want to keep on going and, you know, keep on going and st stick with my fr with it, with my family's with my family and my friends, and keep keep on going t together with them, you know, and see what see what happens. And not and actually, it's like my my family is half atheist and half theist, so I'm talking this is on both sides on theist and atheists. Uh, both of them have said this. You know, there are, there are fr friends of mine who are atheists, who say, "Well, um, I have had have had a lot of shit shit happen to me, and I'm still gonna keep on going with my fa with my family and friends at, at, at my side, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep on going." So this is not exclusive to theists or atheists. This is to both sides. So my cho my choice to not be Antinatalis is not hinging um, entirely on me being a theist. Um, it's because I've seen on both sides atheists and theists who have who are choosing to still go on. Who not? I mean, they're they're choosing to, you know, go on with hope despite some horrible shit shit that has happened to them. And um, I'm not in this video. I'm not trying to say that your choice to do so is wrong. I'm saying that I'm just not going to choose to, to, to do so because I've seen them do it and, um, you know, I've had a lot of bad shit happen to me too, um, but I still am going to do, do, do the same thing they are. I'm still going to go on and I'm gonna, still going to try for try for more things and try more things and see how they work with my family and friends at my side and um, that's how I'm going to choose to go through life. That's how I'm going to choose to go through it. Um, Atheist or, or or theist, you know. Um, so my choice to not be a, a analyst is not not entirely hinging on my belief in on my belief in a deity. So that's just my choice, and I'm not gonna condemn you for choosing to not procreate because of the shit of because of you know whatever choice you have. I'm not gonna say that it's wrong to be analyst. I'm not gonna. Um, I'm not gonna say that it's illogical because because of but, but because of Benatar's arguments they 
check out to be pretty logical, actually. So, But, however, I still am going to choose not to go down, go down, that, go down that route at all. So, um, this is just another one of those, you know, one of those debates, I guess, that where, you know, I, I see the logic and I've seen it and I, you know, um, have some agreement with the asymmetry. Um, however, I just, um, this is a, antinatalism involves a choice to not, to do or not do something. And I, I just don't, um, I don't uh, feel a need to not pro procreate or tell others not not to because I feel like that even though shit happens, anybody still, my kids and their kids can still, you know, choose to keep on going with their friends and f friends and family and see what's next. I mean, that's just how it is, you know. For, for 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 me, and I'm and I'm not. I'm just. This is, this is why I'm saying. And like before, I would I would I would I would argue against you. Um, but now I'm just going to. This is a difference in opinion, not a not a debate on logic. This is just difference in opinion, I guess. Now, that's pretty much what what this idea has boiled down to for me. The idea of Antinatalism, or not being that, is has boiled down to difference of difference of opinion between you and me. So that's pretty pretty much all it really is for me.